Hi, it's Phil Stone and this is the Phil Stone Training Series and in this video we're going to talk about personal branding for new marketers who are really new to online work. No question about the fact that building a personal brand right now is more important than it has ever been. Unless you're absolutely sure you'll be involved with your current company for the rest of your career, you must build your personal brand. It's critically important. I mean, the, the days when people used to work with a company forever and retire, not going to go that way. Even if you have your own business, you really don't know for sure if it's going to last your entire lifetime. Unless you're absolutely sure, build a personal brand. Now, everybody knows when you're building a resume, what you do is you start by answering the questions, who are you? And you put all kinds of things in the resume that will help market you. But what makes you special? What are you passionate about? Why should people want to know you or hire you or work with you? Those are the things that you put in a resume. Bottom line is what you're doing is you're selling yourself. And bad news for the guys out there that are sitting there saying, hey, I don't like sales. You have to sell yourself, period. Now, I'll tell you, it gets really different when you're talking about online selling yourself because people are looking for different things from someone who's an online personality. By the way, while we're talking about online, first thing you should do, it's important enough to actually pause this video and go get it done if you haven't done it yet. Get your own name. Go to GoDaddy. You can actually get there quickly by going to philipjstone.com forward slash GoDaddy. Go to GoDaddy and register your own name so that you have that as part of your personal brand. Now, here's how you do it if you're brand new. I mean, everything that you do, think about problem solution. What problems have you solved? I mean, it may be something as simple as learning how to log on to Facebook, setting up a, a fan page. It could be virtually anything. Put together a WordPress blog site. The issues that you come across, the problems that you have, chances are real, real good that other people have had those problems as well. Make a list of those things, and then what you do is your keyword research to see if, in fact, people are actually searching for those things. If they are, you've got a great topic. The more difficulty you had in solving the problem that you had, the more important your solution becomes to all the people that follow you. Now, keep in mind, there are going to be people that just log on to Facebook for the very first time in their life tomorrow. It's going to happen. There are going to be people that have never gone to LinkedIn. They'll go to LinkedIn tomorrow. If you know how to do something in any of those sites, or any of them, those are just two examples. If you know how to do something, you've worked through the issues that you had, you come up with a simplified way of doing it, people want to know that. The greater impact your solution has on results, the more valuable your solution. If it's something that you do that really has a huge impact on you, that's something really important. And that's the kind of thing that people want to hear about. I mean, you need to become known for offering solutions. It's the number one way to brand yourself online because it's something that appeals to virtually everyone. Everybody wants to have someone that they can connect with who can solve issues and problems for them, simplifying their life. I mean, show people how to do things like save time. I mean, everybody has time constraints. Show them ways to do that. They'll love you for it. Show them how to save money. Well, that's a real obvious one, isn't it? Create a plan. A lot of people don't know a lot about planning and how to create a plan, how to start from where you are and the ultimate goal and then back it up and divide it into segments. Show people how to do that kind of thing. They'll love you for that too. How to budget their money. Saving money is one thing. Budgeting money is another, especially when you're dealing with online because online can be very expensive and you can actually invest your money in areas that really don't get a great return. That's a great way to endear yourself to people. Show people how to look better, even if it's looking better physically or looking better online with what they present to the world. People want to do things that will make them look better, right? Anything that people do that makes them feel better is something that they want to learn more about. So if you can make them feel better physically or feel better about results, feel better about anything, no question about it, that's a great topic. You get the idea. How to be more attractive, and that can be attracting people to them or it can be better looking. You know, personal grooming, have more fun. I mean, that's a big one. If you can show people how to have more fun, 
They want to hear about that. They want to hear what you've done and what benefit has been to you. And they can kind of live in your shoes for a little bit, then try it out themselves. Definitely the way to go. Always, once you get these ideas, go down and do your keyword research to see if, in fact, what you think people are searching for is, in fact, what they're searching for. Do that before you write your article. By the way, a shortcut little way to do kind of a short version of keyword research, www.suval.com. It's a site that you can go in, type something in, you'll see it's really very cool, very free as well. Now, there's a lot more information on internet marketing, marketing online, and branding at philipjstone.com. That's with two L's, and I'll be there waiting for you. Bye-bye.